guys. Urban Viking Hill Review. Uh, okay, uh, another Scottish beer. This one's coming from the Air Brewery. And um, it's, uh, I like the description on it really. It sounded really nice. It's their uh, Air Brewing's Porter. It's Rabbi's Porter. As you know, I'm not a massive fan of porters, but you know, I'm sort of starting to get into them. So uh, let's see how this one goes. Let's give you some info. Okay, it says uh, handcrafted high quality owls brewed in the heart of Burns country. Oh, I should have done this on the Robert Burns night. The Air Brewing Company brewed its first ales in October 2009 and in that short space of time have gained both local and national awards. Rabbi's Porter is brewed using Challenger and Pioneer hops from the UK with crystal and chocolate malts to produce this robust and full bodied ale. Um, okay. 4.3%, which is about average, you know, usual sort of ABV for a porter. Get it in the old sniffer. Okay, there you go, it looks uh, really nice, is it? Seems quite dim in there. Um, okay, seems right. Right. Uh, yeah, a nice sort of creamy off-white head. Really, really thick. You can see it there. Look, look at that. Um, that is that is almost pitch black. Um, there's no light getting through that whatsoever. So it's a really, really pretty looking beer. Um, let's get a nose on it. Mm, yeah, getting some nice uh, sweet chocolate malts. Mm, a little bit of smoke. Even getting a bit of the old um, dark fruit smells coming through on this one as well. But mostly I'm getting... Um, a roasting malt, like a coffee, milk chocolate. And it smells, it smells just like a decent porter really. Um, cheers, let's give it a go. Mmm, that is really nice. Oh wow, that's got a really chocolatey taste. Mm. It tastes a lot like, um, I don't know if uh, any of you guys out there have had the Brains style. It's very similar to that, it's very drinkable. Um, but this one's got slightly more powerful flavours. Um, the milk chocolate tends to be more on the nose, on the taste you're getting more of like a dark chocolate. Um, pretty big sort of coffee hit, not massive massive but you know it's enough. Mm. Excuse me. You're getting a nice bitterness on the tongue and in the aftertaste. And that smoke's there as well. It's very faint in the background. Um, and, it, and it tastes really nice. Very, very drinkable. It's quite powerful. Like I say, it's powerfully flavoured and it's only a 4.3%. So that's pretty nice. Mmm. It's nice to have a sessionable beer. That's uh, quite, got quite a lot of flavour. Especially in, in regards to the dark beers, like porters and stouts. Um, yeah, this is really nice. Really, really good. See if I can get a bit more on it. See, it's weird. On the nose, I'm getting the sweet chocolate, but I'm also getting like a almost like a cherry or something like that, but it doesn't reflect at all in the taste. Nice smooth carbonation, as you always get with um, porters. Yeah, really nice beer, one that you can just sit and sip as well, and uh, take your time with. Good stuff, I'm really starting to get into porters now. I mentioned before I wasn't really a fan of them, but 
I'm starting to appreciate the flavours that can be used in them. And um, and this one's pretty complex, so I'm pretty happy with that. Rabbi's Porter, what am I going to give you? Let's have one more go. I'm going to give that an 8. That's an 8 out of 10. The more I'm starting to sip it, the more I'm starting to get some of that milk chocolate coming through as well. Um, which goes really well with the hops. The bitter hops. And that um, touch of smoke. So it's really, really nice. Really good stuff. And definitely one I'd buy again. So there you go. Rabbi's Porter from the Air Brewing Company. Let's see if they've got a website. <laughs> Nope, they've got, I guess they have, www.airbrewingcompany.co.uk. Lovely, good stuff. And there you have it. There's actually a little bit more info on the back here, I'll just read you. He says, a passionate, inspiring, forward-thinking pioneer of his generation, Robert Burns, born on the 25th of January, 1759, died 21st of July, 1796, is regarded as the National Poet of Scotland. Rabbi is famous for his political views, revolutionary behaviour, his love for the lasses, and of course his world famous songs and poems. So there you go. I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't know Rabbi was um, old Robert Burns. So there you go. What an idiot! I should have done this on Burns night. Never mind. Great beer. Get it. Cheers. Slangevar. <laughs>